We turn our attention to Lions and Bucks, odyssey.com. Rewind, you missed anything. We did cover the Tua injury and and what went down last night. You can go back and get that. Uh, Prop Bet Casino. We'll get the picks coming your way at 530. David, what do you have for us? Detroit Lions injury report. uh, Iffy Melifonwu expected he's out. Isaiah Williams is out. Here's the important stuff. Marcus Davenport growing doubtful. Oh, already this guy's hurt? Already. See, this, this, oh, God, he was good in the open, but this is why I didn't love him as a signing. He's never healthy. So does this mean James Houston actually gets to play football? Hi, it's Maybe. me again. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> like, does, does James Houston dress? Uh, That would be a huge we'll see, I guess. Kirby, Kirby Joseph, questionable. Panay Sewell, questionable. Jamison Williams, questionable. All right, but questionable. All, all had limited practice. Right. Correct. But they're, they're questionable is probable. Yes, they're probably going to In, the, in play. the new NFL. You play if you're questionable. Okay. You just do. Well, I mean, then you said uh, um, Campbell kind of, when it came to Sewell, kind of hemmed in hard this morning. Like, well, you know, we'll see, kind of. <sighs> Look, whenever, the, whenever he does, because normally he'll just say, yes, this guy's going to be out there. You know, when they asked about Reader last week, well, you know, uh, stuff and things. So, but now when you ask him, hey, is Reader playing? Yes, he's playing this week. I, I, okay, D- David or Kenny, one of you two. I mean, someone alert me. I mean, like, obviously, Aiden's going to play 90% of snaps. You're going to mix in Pascal. Fine. But if Davenport's out, yes, you get Reader back. That James Houston has to play. Now, he was a healthy scratch last week. Something has changed or he's fallen out of favor. He's not delivering in practice, so therefore you don't get to play. Okay, well, now if Davenport's out, which doubtful means you're out, you don't really play when you're doubtful, and it's a groin. Mess with that, that's a four-week injury versus a one. I'm going to be very interested to see because it kind of feels like it's the last call here for James Houston. Well, it's interesting you say that, and I'm just going based off Dave Burkett wrote an article on who could be replacing Davenport. Uh, He does not mention James Houston in this article at all. He mentions Pascal, Wingo, and Anzarike, who could play a bigger role, but he does not mention Houston. Wow. And he's really good at his job. Dave does a great job no, covering the Lions. So what does that say? It just says we have to stop bringing up James Houston's name because clearly the team doesn't feel what we thought they felt about him. That the sample size as a rookie is not who he actually is. And the only thing I can offer you is if he's healthy, the re- the way you fall out with a team, unless it's off the field, is you're not practicing well. Mm-hmm. That you're not putting out in practice, you're not putting the tape out there, and they don't believe in you. It just makes me really wonder what's going on behind the scenes with that dude. I know. Because that's when people call in about guys they want to see more out of, that's the first name on the list. Yeah, and think about it. He, it, We were all questioning, was he going to make the team? That's what threw me. It was like, well, you know, he's on that cut line. Like, wait, they did they draft a different James Houston? Like, seriously? Did they draft a James And there's <laughs> no different. reason to doubt Burkett at all, like no, you guys said. He's, he's fantastic at what he does. So, look, I mean, it gives me some pause, to, uh, but but overall, it's always going to be a, a by-committee approach. I, I thought Davenport played well in the opener. But this has been my issue that when you put your eggs in the basket of a guy who's never healthy, great. So now James Houston's going to – or James Houston. Davenport's going to miss a game. I, mean, I don't think he plays. He's doubtful with a groin. You're not playing. No, you can't. You can't afford for that – yeah, you'd rather sit him this week knowing maybe you have to sit him the next and you got an early bye coming up. Because you're, you're going to need him for a playoff run. Any other bad news you want to deliver there, Deacon? Well, I'm, I'm just wondering if there's – so we have no concern for Sewell, no concern for J-Mo. They're, you're just assuming – I just view when guys are questionable, they play. No, I'm with you largely. It's just – those are two big names on this roster. They are. I, I... – Well, see, Kenny, now we need to know who's that third wide receiver. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Please don't bring this back. Please don't bring that I, back. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna do that topic. David, go ahead. Oh my gosh. Someone's saying this is one of the best Friday shows in a while. Love the two a conversation. Love everything about it. Well, it's football Friday. I mean, there's vibes with football. 
and you get to be a little looser and have fun, and and it's different. I mean, we're coming out of summer where, look, let's face it. I I know it upsets a couple callers. The Tigers wasted our summer, and it was all consternation and anger and bitterness and stress and disappointment. That's not where the Lions are at. And and that's look, it just of course it feels different. Yeah, it could be a clean sweep weekend for our football. Yeah, locally. Yeah, it could. Yeah, someone's asking, how do you attend these games this weekend? I don't want to see Arkansas State, and I don't want to see Prairie View. I listen. You know what? I wanted to see Prairie View, but I just found out. I thought the band was going to be there. Budget cuts. They're not. They don't no. have a band no more. You didn't hear that? Yeah. They shut the no. program down. Stop it! No, no, they no, they have a band. They had a band. They just couldn't afford to. To bring them here. It's actually just one dude in a tuba now. Man, inflation's real. They shut it down. If you're 42 point underdogs to Michigan State, you don't deserve <laughs> to have a band. That's how those are the no. rules. That's written in the charter of the school. Mike, no at band. The, at the HBCUs, people don't go to the games for the games. They go for the halftime. They show up close to halftime. Seriously, yeah. they show right up before halftime. They watch the show and then they leave. Okay, well. This isn't a home game. Well, I, I thought maybe they would bring them here. But why would we care about their band? Because their band is better than our band. Yeah, but I don't care. It's for entertainment. Keep them out of my stadium. Get it's out. The of same here. reason Ohio State shows up with their Michigan shows up with their band. I don't need. A, I don't need invading bands. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Diff- what what you're saying is way better than what Kenny's saying to me right now. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, Kenny. I'm making a point. I never liked it when the opposition would bring their band to a home game and then they expect you to dutifully stand and clap while they're doing their thing. I don't like it. You're correct, except for I would sit there and I would watch their entire show. Why? Because it's different. What, do they have Mariah Carey singing lead? No, but they might as well. They could probably play her whole album. Have you ever seen... Yeah, I've seen like the Florida A and M band or the Georgia, right. the, the the Georgia Southern, the Southern and Grambling game. Yeah. Eh, overrated. What do you like? I don't care <laughs> about bands. Jeez. You know what I don't want? I don't want football games taking longer anymore. We are at a a flashpoint here. What's well, longer? The halftime is set in stone. It's this long. But if I have to allot more time for invading no. bands, no, you MSU band. You don't need to play. Well, now, see, now I have an issue with that. Why? Because it's a home game. Listen, why don't I tell you what I'm going to do? Kenny, do me a favor. Go to Prairie Review's website. I want to buy Rico to band album, and then I'll shut up about this, and he can listen to the Prairie Review band and Prince okay, anytime okay. he wants. Okay, first of all, I was responding to the ticket texter of why would you go to the game. We're all responding. Second of all, you're just being rude. <laughs> you're a problem. <laughs> you're a real, okay. real problem. Do Mike, want- okay, and third, I think it's clear, David, Mike hates HBCUs. Wow. That's the conclusion <laughs> we drew? <laughs> to hell with it. <laughs> to hell with it. Unbelievable. Okay, come on. That is the NC State football elements. <laughs> what? Or bands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk irrational <laughs> confidence. And Rico's love of the Zuzaphones. Next, 97 1.